The hidden world inside a tornado. When people imagine tornadoes, they usually picture a spinning funnel tearing across open land, shredding everything in its path. But very few ever stop to ask a deeper question. What is actually happening inside that violently rotating tower of wind? What forces shape it? What physics keep it alive? And what mysteries hide inside the swirling column that nobody ever truly sees? Tornadoes are more than just destructive weather events. They are complex, dynamic machines created by nature. Inside them, air pressure drops dramatically, temperatures shift instantly, winds accelerate to unimaginable speeds, and debris travels in spirals that don't always follow logical paths. A tornado isn't just a storm. It's a living engine built from differences in heat, moisture, and rotation. The reason it looks chaotic from the outside is because the physics happening inside it are extreme, invisible, and almost impossible to observe without destroying instruments or risking human life. While scientists have sent probes into tornadoes before, those attempts rarely survived. Even modern radar systems can only estimate what's going on inside. But from research, laboratory simulations, computer models, and rare direct observations, we can reconstruct a vivid and scientifically accurate picture of what actually goes on in the secret interior of a tornado. The space inside the vortex isn't uniform. It contains multiple layers, zones of pressure, regions of rotation, and areas where debris behaves in physically bizarre ways. Understanding this inner structure not only solves long-standing scientific mysteries, but also answers some of the most puzzling real-world phenomena reported after tornadoes. Why straw gets embedded into trees, how entire houses vanish while nearby objects remain untouched, and why some tornadoes produce calm, eerie voids at their center, while others generate a chaotic soup of fire, dust, or water. The physics inside a tornado are not only fascinating, they define many intuitive expectations. To understand them, we have to mentally enter one of the most extreme environments on Earth. The pressure drop that creates a vacuum of chaos. Inside the core of a tornado, one of the most important forces at play is pressure. Specifically, the dramatic difference between the pressure inside the vortex and the pressure outside it. This difference is what fuels the violent inflow of air the upward rush within the funnel, and the rotation that shapes the tornado's structure. In the very center of a strong tornado, air pressure can drop by more than 100 millibars compared to the surrounding atmosphere. This is similar to the pressure change in a powerful hurricane, but compressed into a space only tens or hundreds of meters wide. This sudden pressure drop creates a natural vacuum effect, pulling air inward at high speeds. When air rushes inward, it doesn't move straight. The Coriolis effect, combined with localized wind shear and conservation of angular momentum, forces the air to rotate faster as it gets closer to the center. This is the same principle that makes ice skaters spin faster when they pull their arms in. The pressure drop also produces some of the strange aftermaths people witness after a tornado passes. A sealed house, for example, might explode outward if the pressure inside doesn't equalize quickly enough. Humans inside tornadoes sometimes report their ears popping, similar to what happens on an airplane, but far more sudden. The reduced pressure can also momentarily cause moisture in the air to rapidly condense or evaporate depending on temperature and humidity conditions. But this low pressure zone does something even more dramatic. It accelerates the vertical movement of air. Tornadoes have incredibly strong updrafts that can pull objects thousands of feet into the sky. Inside the funnel, this upward rush creates a spiraling highway of debris, dust, soil, vegetation, and sometimes even fire or water if the tornado forms under unique conditions. This pressure environment is not stable. It fluctuates constantly, shifting as the tornado strengthens, weakens, or interacts with the ground. These fluctuations create smaller, secondary vortices inside the main funnel, mini tornadoes within the tornado that rotate even faster than the parent vortex. These are often responsible for the narrow, concentrated streaks of extreme damage seen after major tornadoes. Ultimately, the pressure drop inside a tornado is what makes the environment so alien. Normal atmospheric behavior breaks down. Air moves in ways it usually never does. The space becomes a zone of intense acceleration, compression, and rotation. 
And all of this chaos is held together by one thing, the physics of pressure. How air actually moves inside the funnel. Once inside the tornado, the air doesn't follow a simple circular path. Instead, it moves through a complex three-dimensional flow pattern shaped by the tornado's strength, the storm structure, the surrounding terrain, and the temperature differences feeding it. Scientists describe this flow as a combination of three movements, inflow, rotation, and updraft. First, air at ground level rushes toward the tornado from all directions. This air is dragged along by friction with the Earth's surface, giving it an initial horizontal rotation. As the air approaches the tornado's base, the pressure drop accelerates it dramatically. This inflow can reach speeds of up to 100 miles per hour before it even enters the vortex. Once inside the outer walls of the tornado, the air begins its spiraling path upward. The rotation is fastest near the center, but this core region is also the most unpredictable. In some tornadoes, the innermost core is extremely turbulent. In others, it can be surprisingly calm. The exact behavior depends on whether the tornado has a single vortex or multiple subvortices. The multiple vortex structure is particularly violent. These small whirlwinds spin around the central core like planets orbiting the star, each one creating its own damage path. Inside these subvortices, wind speeds can exceed 300 miles per hour even if the overall tornado is weaker. The upward movement of air is equally intense. Updrafts inside the funnel can lift cars, trees, and even entire roofs hundreds of feet into the atmosphere. The rotation of a tornado also relies on the conservation of angular momentum. As air moves closer to the center, it spins faster. As it moves upward, the rotation can either slow down or intensify depending on how the tornado interacts with the storm above it. The tornado acts as a vertical conveyor belt, moving air from the ground into the cloud system. This movement connects the surface to the supercell, forming a feedback loop that can keep the tornado alive for minutes or even hours. Every part of this engine plays a role. Without the inflow, the tornado loses fuel. Without rotation, it loses structure. Without updrafts, it collapses. Together, they create a dynamic and self-sustaining machine powered by the laws of physics and the unpredictable energy of the atmosphere. Why a tornado can turn dust into deadly projectiles. One of the most dramatic features inside a tornado is its debris field. Everything the tornado touches becomes part of this swirling environment. Dirt, grass, metal, wood, animals, vehicles, and sometimes even small buildings. The way debris moves inside the tornado depends on several factors. The velocity of the rotation, the height of the vortex, the friction near the ground, and the strength of the updraft. Near the surface, debris tends to move horizontally, dragged along by the spinning lower part of the tornado. As it moves closer to the center, the upward flow lifts it into the core. This is why tornadoes often leave behind spiraled or twisted patterns on the ground. The debris is not simply thrown around randomly. It follows the rotation, gaining speed as it approaches the center. Once airborne objects can be carried several miles, lighter debris can travel even farther, ending up dozens of miles from its original location. The physics inside the tornado can also produce bizarre effects. Pieces of straw embedded in trees, shingles driven into walls like spears, and objects crushed or contorted in unnatural ways. These strange outcomes are often due to the combination of extreme wind speeds, pressure differences, and rotational forces. In the fastest moving subvortices, debris can reach speeds significantly higher than the surrounding wind. Calm eye or chaotic core. Many people believe tornadoes have a calm eye similar to hurricanes, but this isn't entirely true. The idea comes from rare eyewitness accounts describing quiet, almost peaceful conditions inside the funnel. However, these experiences vary dramatically depending on the tornado's structure. In some tornadoes, especially large and slow-moving ones, the pressure and wind speeds near the center may be lower than those at the outer walls. This can create a brief zone of relative calm, but this calm is extremely unstable. If you want more deep dive natural disaster breakdowns like this, make sure to like the video, subscribe to Explains, and hit the bell so you never miss a new upload.